Okie dokie. This is Betrayer, everybody. We are back in action. This is the second game we are doing today for the Who's Gaming Now bundles. Well, Who's Gaming Now uh, review, I guess, of the groupies.com bundle, I should say. And, uh, of course, I am your host, Legendary Neurotoxin, filling in for Carl Mundo. And, uh, like, the, like things have been going here, um, you just have to do exclamation groupies that gets you entered in the raffle and this raffle is going to be one giveaway of the entire groupies bundle that's going to be going on here so ah, uh, gonna be looking forward to that here checking this right on out and we will get into it so hey yo, labels how you doing buddy Labels is an awesome person who makes labels. He's very cool. And my, my labels were very popular at the uh, SOE Live convention I was just at last week. So I gotta thank you for that. Alright. Had to Google vexing. <laughs> Alright, new game. A Black Powder Games production. Ron Harvey. Blake Hirsch. Craig Hubbard. David Longo. Larry Pellis. The Brad Pendleton. Ah, uh, damn. West Salisbury. Yeah, I was definitely going to butcher that last name in that short time. <laughs> oh well. So E is my left click. Also, okay. I've got a compass. F to open. There's some coins. Okay, everything's all black and white. No idea what happened here. But I can't swim. I know that much. That's fine. It just blocks me so I don't go that way. <laughs> I'm guessing this game is a handcrafted world, not a procedural one. Though there might be some randomized elements for where things are located. No idea. This is my first time. Uh, Hall and Fewer, yes, and if you do win that, then we'll work something out, because then you'll be getting two giveaways in one day, and that's that's a little much. So, um, yeah, just just go ahead and enter, and if it does so happen that you do win, then we'll, uh, we'll sort it out. Don't worry about that. <laughs> guest star Vin Diesel. Guest star Vin Diesel. There you go. <laughs> Black and white. Definitely the that kind of atmospheric sort of thing going on here. Don't know what that person's all about. Two wins a day is on for some? Yeah, no, I... Um, I will definitely have to. We haven't we haven't discussed all of the um, you know specific policies and everything. I'm just kind of still kind of <laughs> winging it here. We haven't fully had a conference on uh, exactly what we want to do with WN WGN going forward here, but that's all good. Uh, I'm just trying to do my best to keep the uh, hype train going here and keep you folks entertained and seeing the uh, all the various different games here. And then we'll have uh, probably something more formalized coming up here pretty soon. Um, logo and overlay and all of that sort of stuff. Um, let's 
it's good stuff. He's a cool dude. I really like uh, being able to help him out with WGN, and I like being able to uh, hang out with all of you folks and give you a chance to see all these games. A free bow, and hopes you may survive long enough to be a regular customer. Arrows will be free for a limited time. You may deflect from armored enemies. Be sure to carry plenty. Thanks for the follow. Uh, I'll put my trust and leave payment. Okay. So I've got that. I've got. I guess the quiver is something that I might want to uh, try to collect. What the heck is this? Catch them unaware, for their rage makes them stronger. Shots to the head also inflict more grievous injury than to the trunk or limbs. You got it. Headshots good, sneaking good. Yeah, that's true, Saito. So there's an adversary there. I assume they're an adversary. I would wager that sneaking is an advantage. He's armored. Nothing else sneaking up on me, right? Okay, good. Hope he didn't hear me. if there was a lean left, lean right. Hey, come on. Yeah. Alright, let's try that again. Because I definitely put one in his face, but uh, it looked like it Did not quite work. There we go. There was a crude pistol here, but I lost sight of it. Definitely not meant to be a, a nice game. You definitely have to be really good with those arrows. It looked like the first one over the target's head, too. So there's got to be some amount of, uh, I guess, figuring out where it's zeroed up or whatever. Okay. And let's venture forth.
people notes alright so there's probably something about healing Thanks for the follow. Be nice to take the enemy's armor. All treasure chests found. Well, what the heck does that mean? Do I need to find all the chests to progress or something? Sure, buddy. Hmm. So we got another 16 minutes and 30 seconds on this bundle. So there's a chest. Huh. Maybe it is a procedural kind of space. I don't know. It'd be really cool if it is. I haven't actually looked into the details of the game here to know. Tomahawk. That's nice. If you're moving, crouching, significantly harder. It allows you to move quietly. Use the wind as an advantage. Gust mask your footsteps. Oh, lovely. Wait a second, didn't I just find a tomahawk? Come on. What's going on here? Totally just found a tomahawk. I have no idea where that item went. That's uh, a little screwy, I guess, but maybe the game's not in a finished state. Well, that's fine. I probably need to be getting good with the bow here anyway. What? How did you even see me from over there? Okay. Doing so the tomahawk to cut down a tree or something? I have no idea what it's used for. I see the icon for it in the lower right. I didn't see that guy before he saw me. That's no good. Sneaky, sneaky game, huh? Thanks for the follow. I don't know that bug or that buzzing is supposed to be bugs or something or because my character is low health and they're going crazy or something. I see a fort of some sort up there. I saw a chest back this way.
believe I saw one back this way in the distance at least. There's a button to throw it. It's a last ditch weapon. G. G for the tomahawk. Thank you. Some shiny stuff over there. Let me head up here for a moment. I'm assuming that they can't see back through the walls at me either. So I guess I'm okay here. Kinda wanna see what this is all about. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Another ten minutes left on the raffle here. Heard a door open somewhere. Thanks for the follow. Sound like a door at least. I don't know, I kind of like the colorized version that we have here. Or the, the desaturated version, rather. I'm good on arrows for now. Oh, good. I like healing. There's some more chests around. Here's one. Let's open it up, get some coin. What the heck happened here? Remounted from where it was hung. I, I guess I would want to do that. 
Ash and Ember. Interesting. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Reload 5% faster. Not bad. So there might have just been the only one enemy in the area here. So it was a trading culture. Nice. Cool stuff. I can see that just like a uh, consortium, this is a game that I could easily play for a uh, a long time and have it be a lot of fun. Might as well ring the bell. Interesting. What a neat game. Titanians or fleets surely come as we need reinforcements to repel the further attacks. Can't hear what you're saying. So I gotta find some item around that will allow me to uh, speak to them. I think. Okay. So the other part that's dug up or uh, that needs to be dug up rather things that are buried around can't get that so let's try this pile there we go and now I can communicate with the dead I think side find her if I can who are you talking to speaking to a wraith here in the dark when I rang the bell and vanished in the daylight return I found a strange eyeball odd thing to pick up find the tongue more unsettling I guess this is one might taste like. Who are you? Can't remember. Do you remember anything? Sister, I'm searching for. Remember her name either. Perhaps sight for the Spaniard. They seem more beasts than men. Huh. Interesting. For. Uh, this is not seeing the world as it is. Mm. 
Okay. Neato. So I guess you go f ring the bell when you want to go into uh, nighttime mode or whatever darkness mode and interact with the wraiths. That's really really cool. Gives it like a, a light world, dark world sort of mechanic, which is a pretty cool thing. A lot of games do it successfully, of course. Legend of Zelda did a lot of great work with it. Um, Guacamelee even has some of that action, and that's a lot of fun. I can't remember if that game's been um, shown off on Who's Gaming Now yet, but probably be uh, about time again here pretty soon for it. Hey, thanks for the follow. So we've got these last two minutes going on here. Oh, new grave that I haven't checked out before. A true gentleman, huh? A truly dead gentleman. Damn, he did spot me. Well, those are supposed to be Spaniards. They really are depicting them as monsters. I'm not sure if it's just a uh, some cultural aspect of the game or what the uh, what the deal is with it. What I do know is I've got the drop on this guy. Just need to wait for the wind to give me a little bit more. Uh, oh, and there's another one out there. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take out. Oh, there's three of them out here. Did that sink them clean? Looked like it. Wait for the wind to stop blowing. too far. Crap. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, Carl's having some issues with his computer, so definitely glad to be able to help out with things here. Didn't even see that arrow pass right by him, huh? Seriously, did that just go through him? You gotta be kidding me. There, right in the butt. Let's try that tomahawk. Ah, oh, weak. Tomahawk's got too much drop on it. Oh well. Definitely a game where you can't just rush ahead. You have to really take your time with it. 